Okay, this is like the nine millionth bite of the apple for me to make this uh, passive um, heater. I have a greenhouse, which is rather large. It's 20 by 20, but uh, it requires no electricity whatsoever. Except for these, uh, except for the monitors and the um, uh, these pumps over here. The backflow and the um, uh, forward uh, regulator. Um, and this thing because stand, just to stand there. But other than that, absolutely no electricity. Oh, and the airlock. Okay, that's a lot of electricity for something that I keep saying uh, uses no electricity. But you know what I mean. So, inside... Oh, let's go over here. Inside the uh, the room, the room's temperature right now is uh, thirteen uh, thirteen point nine degrees, and inside the pipe is fourteen degrees. Then this is hooked up to this pipe uh, sensor right there. I know I could have connected it to the tank, but I didn't, and that's at uh, six point eight. That is up considerably from where it was started. As you can see, it's it's ticking over right now, and it's warming very quickly for the amount that's in there. There is um, about 120 kilomoles of water in this entire um, this entire setup. This is just an overflow tank. There's not much in here. Uh, and the reason that this is here is because as um, as the as the atmosphere inside the uh, greenhouse heats up it will expand and um, I probably got a lot of overkill here um, with vents on every single square but uh, or cell or whatever you want to call them block but I found that um, if I put radiators uh, on water pipes and run that directly in here the water doesn't move I think there's a bug in the water radiators or there's a bug in how um, water is treated in the game I'm not 100% certain uh, but with pipes running down um, and even like like uh, four rows per square and just loaded with um, radiators close enough together that you can walk on easily it didn't budge it, but it kept the room temperature down so no thermal energy was being absorbed um, with this I, I because I think that the the atmosphere is um, coated better I'm not sure I, I can't see under the hood so this is all like black box test black box testing um, this works, the other way doesn't. Uh, you can also put radiators on these, but on the uh, on the uh, atmospheric pipes, but there's no reason. Um, now, I think if I built this one block higher, uh, it would absorb even more energy from the sun, because I think the sun, the star, delivers uh, an amount of thermal energy to each square that it passes through. So if this was uh, humongous, but I think it still has to be within um, rendering distance, um, this would heat up uh, quite quickly. Um, well, no, it, it, not quite quickly. It, it would heat up at the at the exact same rate, sorry, because you have more mass, but concentrating the mass down um, and heating that water would, would go much more quickly because that water is um, below the temperature of this room. Temperature of this room is 14 degrees and the uh, water is 6 degrees, whatever the hell it was. There we go. Back outside here. Everything is thermal coupled too. These are all thermal coupled together just to make sure that um, Temperatures always equalized all across the entire um, the entire project. So yeah, it's seventeen degrees or seven degrees, seven point four one degrees, and the uh, uh, 
greenhouse is 14 degrees. Let's stick ourselves right like this so we can get a good look at everything. I think we're in the draw. No, we're out of the draw distance for some of it, but eh, it may or may not matter. I have no idea. Not at this point, anyways. So let's see what happens over the course of a few minutes. So I think that's fairly um, definitive, and uh, all that it really needs, all that it really costs, is space and iron. These windows here are made out of uh, steel, but um, you can make them out of um, just uh, iron, um, iron walls as well. Is it useful? Uh, probably not. It probably be, it would not probably it would be much more useful in space in that the um the oscillation that we saw uh as it went up as the sun came up and down um would be negated it would be constant sunlight and constant sunlight on uh, a bunch of squares will give you a constant source of energy now <clears throat> is this absorbing more energy than solar panels. I think yes for the flat solar panels, but as soon as you start tracking, I don't think um, I don't think it comes even close. I think that if you had the same number of solar panels um, up here, packed in together, all tracking the sun, um, it wouldn't even come in close. Even if you were in uh, space, I don't think it would come close. The problem is getting the internal pressure up. And I think you might be able to do that with with a, a cascaded uh, cells. So you have like one cell in the center and then surrounded by um, um, a three by three by three, surrounded by a four by four by four, surrounded by a five by five by five. So all the cells would uh, gradually increase in pressure until you reach the center. Um, which would be at the highest pressure you could you could make it, and because um, uh, each cell, the each adjacent cell is only 
200 uh, kilopascals different, it wouldn't break the uh, it wouldn't break the walls. And I think then you might be able to increase the amount of energy absorbed. Now, unfortunately, I haven't established this yet. I haven't established that there's a connection between um, the density of the atmosphere and uh, how much energy it absorbs. I've been mostly trying to um, fix the problems with the radiators and stuff. Uh, water doesn't work properly. Water is kind of janky still. It's not It's not properly coated. Um, there was uh, two other uh, uh, experiments that I did where I used direct water pipes that just sort of froze at a specific temperature at a specific time. At first I thought it was because the networks were too large, but that doesn't seem to be it. I'm not really sure what's wrong. It uh, they they absorb heat um, or radiate heat up to a certain level, then just quit. Um, I don't really know what's causing them to quit. Like if I have just one length of pipe with you know six or nine or twelve or whatever um, uh, radiators on it, they seem to work. Uh, but as soon as I put them in a room they seem to not work. Or if they were in a room and then, I, and then I, I destroyed one of the walls, it doesn't seem to update um, something. It doesn't update the variables. It doesn't update the conditions. It doesn't update something. So the radiators just stop absorbing and radiating uh, thermal energy. So um, it's best to do everything I'm finding right now. It's best to do everything with atmospherics and then just sort of dump the uh, uh, dump the energy into um, a little bit of uh, of uh, pipe and 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 tanks with uh, with liquid oxygen or with the uh, with water in it. I it might be that it's because uh, water is so much more dense and has so many more kilomoles in it. Maybe there's a calculation error happening. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Um, it just. It just seems like there's. There's some kind of problem there that's not being. That's not being addressed. But yeah. So this works. It works well. If you. If you wanted to play the game, um, in a. In a. A restricted manner, like. Uh, you wanted to uh, uh, reduce the efficiency of solar panels because the, the efficiency of the solar panels in the game are, are extremely high and the, the power usage of everything is just really weird. Like a, a, a console will pull 100 watts of, of power like this. This pulls 100 watts of energy. Do you know how much your router pulls? The router that you have in your house that connects you to the internet? And services your computer, your phone, your your significant other's phone, your two kids' phone, the, their friend's phone when they come over, between thirteen and twenty four watts. And this is supposed to and this is supposed to be using hundred watts. Like that's insane. That's that's just insane. And and each one of these sensors is is a hundred watts. No, an actual sensor um, would would make, be one watt. Would be less than a watt. It'd be be calculated in milliwatts. Like, your smoke detector can have a 9-volt battery in it and last uh, 12 to 24 months and, and just sit there detecting whether or not there's, there's particulates in the air. And I'm, and I'm not talking about the old-fashioned ones that use radiation. I'm talking about the new ones that use an actual um, light sensor in there that, that uses an infrared sensor beaming across to another, uh, to a, a, a receiving diode and it can detect variations in that. That's sometimes that's why they go up because bugs walk between that. But <clears throat> yeah, this is this. They they gotta fix water, which I doubt they will because it seems like they're preparing to abandon the game. And the balancing issues, I don't think will will ever will ever be balanced. I think that this is they're they're content with uh, where everything is at the moment, but. I would really like to find um, a use for this. I think uh, it'll be much easier to find a use for this this uh, thermal greenhouse 
in um, in space. But uh, yeah, that's the experiment.